debate. And then there were five. He sells it to a lobbyist who's probably here for 380000 and then legislation is passed. You tell me about this guy. This is what we're going to have. Here's the guy president. that inherited $200 million. If he hadn't inherited $200 million, you know where Donald no, no, Trump no, would no, be no. right now? No, no, Selling no. watches in Manhattan. Thought... And that's just a small show of these fireworks. Donald Trump entering tonight as the clear Republican frontrunner. But that also made him the primary target. CBS 4's, CBS 4's Omar Villafranca joins us live from Houston with what may have been the most entertaining <laughs> debate yet. Omar. It was. The candidates took swings at each other over immigration, foreign policy, and the Supreme Court. And at times, frontrunner Donald Trump got into some very heated exchanges with Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. I know you're embarrassed. I know you're embarrassed, but keep fighting. Keep swinging, man. The two Republican presidential candidates vying for second place turned their sights on frontrunner Donald Trump, who fired right back. You're the only person on the stage that's ever been fined for hiring people to work on your projects illegally. I'm from the Poland. only one on the stage that's hired people. You haven't hired anybody. Well, Trump criticized Ted Cruz for having no support in the Senate. You don't have the endorsement of one Republican senator, and you work with these people. Senator Cruz. You should be ashamed of yourself. Donald, if you want to be liked in Washington, that's not a good attribute for a president. This was the last GOP debate before Super Tuesday. And depending on the outcome of those contests, probably the last time all five candidates shared the stage. The lower polling candidates took less contentious positions. Ben Carson on immigration. Real compassion is providing people with a ladder of opportunity. And John Kasich on religious liberty versus same-sex marriage. I mean, if you're in the business of commerce, conduct commerce. That's my view. And if you don't agree with their lifestyle, say a prayer for them when they leave. All five candidates vowed to repeal Obamacare, but none provided specifics for an alternative. Ben Carson might have had the line to the night. He had been quiet for a little while during the debate, and he blurted out, can someone attack me, please? It did get a response from the crowd. The candidates will now start crisscrossing the Super Tuesday states starting tomorrow morning. Rick? Omar Villafranca in Houston for us. Omar, thank you.